Well, thank you for letting me tune in, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for letting me tune in. This is the Coordinator of Artelia Harris Show, owner of all clones, owner of all animals that sound like animals and look like animals, but they're not animals. Owner of all robots. Thank you for letting me tune in. Owner of the global market, majority stakeholder of the S&P, the Russell, the NASDAQ, and the Dow Jones. And uh, we're going to continue from where everybody fell off yesterday. You know, if you spent your time praying for the Lord to release that barrier, if the Lord don't remove that barrier that's hindering you, you, you finished. So you have to pray diligently. You have to pray enthusiastically. You have to pray without stopping, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know how much energy and, and, and how much essence is going to take from you? to get the Lord to know that you are actually doing it honestly, telling the truth, you ain't lying, that you need the Lord to help you to remove a demonic barrier that is stopping you from achieving anything. That'll take you all goddamn day, lady. Your ass will be tired as hell if you figure out how to say a prayer, how to do it without lying, and how to get it delivered to the Lord that can release the bear. Your ass will be damn near expired just in one day alone trying to get that delivered to the Lord. Just like an Amazon package. Just like if you call Amazon Prime and say, hey, I want to get a copy of this book. Hey, I need somebody to send me a Discover card that I applied for and I got approved. And somebody else got your Discover card. The total balance that you got approved of, somebody else has already spent that money. Sitting up there with a negligee on, and you think them titties is juicier than the money that them titties done spent that you supposed to have in your pocket, and those titties done spent that money, and you went into them panties, you went swimming in them panties for 20 minutes, and your fucking balance is gone. These are the things that you have to think about. You know what I'm saying? Because you control by demonic forces. It's not my fault that you are. You know, I'm not trying to deliver you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know how bad that you're losing. Because I control the stock market. The, the stock market is controlled by real stats. Not by fake stats. Not by illusion. You are controlled by stats that's losing. And you still riding. You still going to the gas station and fueling up. You still going to the supermarket using that card that's not yours. And you are losing. You are losing to the point of no return. And you still rolling with it. That's that's all. I'm not delivering you. I'm just goddamn telling you the stats. That's all I'm doing. It's just like goddamn Casey Case with the 100 hottest songs in America. Or, or like, uh, just like American Bandstand. You know that dude named Dick? They had a dude named Dick at American Bandstand. Dick used to tell you who was the hottest rock and roll bands and country bands in America. That's what Dick did. Goddamn Casey Case told you more about goddamn R&B and alternative music. And Dunn Cornelius told you about R&B and soul music. You see what I'm saying? I'm just telling you, yeah, now that's all I am. You shouldn't be mad at me. If you're mad at Doug Cornelius, if you're mad at Dick, if you're mad at Casey Case, your ass got a serious problem because all they doing is telling you, goddamn, the results and the numbers of who goddamn doing goddamn excellent and who goddamn at the bottom of the charts. If you mad at them, you a mad ass motherfucker, good. Bruh, you mad. You sick. If you mad at somebody that's just doing their job, they ain't doing no, they ain't doing no fucking goddamn damage to you and your lifestyle. You just mad because they doing their job. Brother, you sick. Nigga, you sick. Brother, you's a sick motherfucking pig. I'm talking about. Have you ever seen a sick pig? Uh.